and welcome to the first video in a series of videos I'm going to call In the Beery. In the series In the Beery, uh, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to detail some tools I use, some procedures, methods, all the little different things I do that I feel helps me brew the best beer I can possibly brew. I figured why not make a series of this to help other folks who want to be able to brew the best beer they can brew and show some of my tricks and tips with that. So in today's first video, I'm going to speak about a tool I use that I feel is invaluable in my brewery. I use it on the hot side for wort making process. I use it on the cold side and I find it is fantastic in what it does and I will explain to you how I use it. What is this device? This device today is the Anton Parr Easy Dense. Let me cut over to the other camera view and we will kind of go over it and learn about it, take a reading with it, and go from there. So here we are. What is the Anton Parr Easy Dens. Well, the Anton Parr Easy Dens is a small handheld density meter that can take gravity readings, hot, cold, uh, uh, mashing, boiling, finished beer, uh, carbonated, asterisk, uh, we have to decarbonate the sample, but that's super easy and I'll show you how I do that. <clears throat> but this little handheld device I find is, a, is an invaluable tool in my brewery and I'm going to show you how I use it and how it works. So today what we're going to do is we are going to take a sample of some Spunding beer. And this beer is probably has a finishing gravity of about 10-10 or 1.010 and I use this to take measurements of my Spunding beer to know when it's done when I want to halt fermentation if that's something I want to do which I do in this case and that's another topic for another day which is halting fermentation with extract remaining to get the proper body and flavor profile to that beer that's topic for a different day which is definitely something we will cover in this series but today we're going to focus on the Anton Parr Easy Dens. How does it work? Well, you use a syringe. You fill the syringe with a few milliliters of solution, whether it be a sugar water, wort, wine, uh, anything else you want to measure gravity of. And you then connect that to right here push the sample through this density meter and you will get an almost near instant reading that is digital and very, very, very accurate. And so we'll take some of our, our beer right here that we pulled a sample of. Now I realize that this sample is way more than it needs to be, but just for demonstration purposes today I pulled a bigger sample plus I drank my Spunding samples anyways, so it's no big deal. So the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> we need to pull our sample and decarbonate it. So pulling the sample is easy. I'm going to pull about a, a three milliliter sample. All right. So once we have our sample pulled, which in this case is about a three milliliter sample, can be more, can be less, but I, I just use three. We do need to get rid of the carbonation. Since this is a small sample in an enclosed container, all you have to do is put your finger over the, the end of this syringe and pull a vacuum. You can see it nearly instantly decarbonates the beer. So I'll take my finger off, I'll push out the headspace, and I'll do that about three times. And it will skew the reading just slightly if you're not fully decarbonated. I find it it's about one gravity uh, one gravity point. 
but we look pretty good there. All the bubbles are big and we are almost fully decarbonated. So once we have that, we now have our sample, which is about three milliliters. Now what we'll do is we'll turn on the Anton Parr and we will turn on our device. The device, I'll actually close this so I can show you the app. The app is right here. It's called Anton Parr Easy Dense. Once you open that app, it will connect via Bluetooth and now you are paired with the device. You have a temperature reading and a gravity reading in multiple different options. You can do kilograms, you can do grams, you can do bricks, and you can do uh, SG, which I do everything in SG. There's no conversions um, that need be. You just have your, your, your actual number. And so <clears throat> once you are connected, you simply will just um, connect your lure lock to the device. I take this tube and I put it in the sample of beer I just pulled so you don't have any extra dirtying of anything. You just push a couple mils of that sample through and then nearly instantly you will have a gravity reading. So our gravity reading today is 1.011. That is, uh, it does have automatic temperature compensation. And so we have our actual temperature, we have our actual gravity, so once you have that measurement, like we do here, the measurement and the temperature, you can either log that via starting a new beer, or you can, if you're logging a current beer, you can save that as a gravity reading. So for this instance, I'm already monitoring this beer, which is a pills. So I'm going to uh, click that, and then I'm gonna to go to a single measurement and I'll just say, uh, we'll just call it uh, reading two, and I'm gonna save it. So now it is saved to the pills profile, and now <clears throat> I can get a readout uh, with every gravity reading I've made, so you can actually track that beer. Let's say you, you were started making it you know, on the hot side, so you took a, a mash measurement, you took a first running measurement, you took a, a pre-boil measurement, a post-boil measurement, and all those and you can log this beer as you take gravity readings through and then it is saved on your tablet you can email it you can export it to a PC now this happens to be an Android device you can use Apple you can use Android it doesn't matter they have apps for both uh, I actually have this going into my brewing system so I never use my tablet or anything like that I log a reading directly automatically and it logs into my brewing system and then it will chart that across the beer too. I, I use tilts so I can combine the tilt data while well, I use the mass flow sensors in the actual making or the hot side. So I have my measurements there. Then I, I use a tilt for the fermentation side and then for this I use the Anton Parr. So that way I can track a beer from actually inception of making it all the way to the finished and I can have my time frames, my dates, temperatures, gravity points, everything I need. So the cool thing about this Anton Parr Easy Dens is that there is no conversions. There's nothing to worry about. You don't have to take a big full uh, hydrometer jar sample or anything like that. Um, like if you're doing refractometer, if there's alcohol present, you don't have to pick one of the four formulas that are out there and just kind of wing it and be close. This is an exact measurement without having to do any conversions or calculators. So I hope you can see here uh, why I really am a fan of the Anton Part Easy Dens, why I find it fits beautifully in my brewery with the ability to digitally track and have fantastic accuracy, no guesswork, small sample size. It's quick, it's easy. Uh, if I need a quick measurement, I will just use my phone. Everybody seems to always have their phone on them anyways. And so I'll turn on the Anton Parr, pull up my phone. By the time I pull up my app, it'll be connected. I'll do my sample quick. I can do a full sample and clean up in probably a minute. And so 
It's much like refractometers in their use, uh, in their ease of use, but on the cold side or per post fermentation, there's no need for any conversion charts or, or converters. So, um, with that being said, I really love the Anton Parr. Uh, hopefully, if this is something that you want to look into for the utmost accuracy and, and digital ability of it, uh, please do. Uh, nothing but high, high marks from me. So, happy brewing, pros. Oh, 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 oh,